What's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to get all these new Lumions here on Lumion Legacy. We've got this guy right here. Uh, we're also going to show you this one right here, which is another one of the new Lumions. These are the biggest evolutions that you can get of these as well. And then this little guy right here that is half pig, half cake. So we're going to show you how to get all of these as a part of the new Valentine's Day event part two. So the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to navigate to this new area, the Sweet Retreat. Uh, so once you go in here, there's a little area where you can find stuff in the wild. Now, uh, we're just going to go over the easier ones first this is the mochibi uh these ones are easy to find very common out here uh there's three types uh there's this one there's the vanilla one there's this one which is a strawberry one uh which is kind of pink i basically think that they're like mochi like those that come in different flavors and then there's a green one which i think is green tea and that one's very angry but uh these evolve fairly early it's about level 18 level 19 uh once you could just go and do one or two battles its first evolution happens pretty quickly because they already start out fairly high in level but you can see right here the first evolution mochibi turns to totemoki uh which is basically you can see you've got these guys that are in a little modem you've got the strawberry one you've got the green one you've got the vanilla one and then you can also learn the move uh charade so you can uh put that on one of on on your lumion if you want once it hits this evolution but next thing you want is level 32 you gotta go you gotta do some more training some more battle more battling more experience and then once it hits level 32 it's going to grow into its second evolutionary phase right here you can see uh gets much bigger it's a big old bowl right there uh and someone has selected I, I think the one that you use the main one is right there in the in the middle but it's a macho and you can learn the move peppermint breath which looks like it could be a fairly valuable move right here so you exhale a gust of minty ice cold breath on the foe to cause them freezing or you know so so if it's if it's got a good chance of freezing that's really good so uh, that is the first one. So this next one right here, you also encounter in the wild over there in the sweet retreat area. It is called the Gwerm. Uh, this one, it seems to show up quite a bit. Also like the, uh, the little mochis. So this one shouldn't be difficult for you to find. It's the next one. That's a little bit more difficult. And we already made a video to cover the roaming. If you haven't figured out how to get the new roaming one, uh, the Naimore, I made a video right before this one. Uh, so go check that out on how to get this. Uh, so this guy right here, again, just like the mochi, kind of evolves the first evolution pretty early it's like level 18 level 19 probably even less than that but once i go get some experience it evolves basically from a gworm over to the adasho i'm not sure if i'm saying all these correctly but it just looks to me like a piece of gum or something it's like a piece of candy that's in in a wrapper and it gets the chance to learn the move pester right here so you can get rid of one of your other moves and you can learn pester now the second evolution happens pretty quick i think it was like level 26 when the second evolution happened you don't have to wait much longer if you're out there and you've got the experience boosters on when you are battling some trainers so once you get to level 26 with this guy it is going to evolve a little bit further here and the next evolutionary phase for this guy right here is this little butterfly so it's gone through its cocoon phase the odasho now has turned into a spreezy now that is kind of a cute little name for it and it is kind of a cute little lumion i'm not gonna lie and it still almost looks like a piece of candy i'd say it looks close to uh cotton candy uh with wings basically it's cotton candy with candy wings but it can learn the move twirly whirl which is another valuable move so uh right here it can perform a mesmerizing dance before attacking the foe which may cause blah 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 go and read that and see what we've got going on i'm trying to speed this up here so you don't have to see the long evolution now this one right here the cup oink it's a cupcake slash pig obviously the cup oink uh this one does not show up as common as the other ones the mochi and the Gworm that we got earlier, uh, so you might have to be searching around a little bit before you encounter one of these ones, but I don't think it's like 1 in 50, I don't think it's like the Igneal or the Hydrini, I think it's a little bit more common than that, it's felt like it was like maybe 1 in 25, it's, people seem to not have too hard of a time getting these, uh, but yeah, once you get this one, you want to capture this one, of course, uh, now this one evolves in a uh, very special way that is very different from how the other ones evolve, it doesn't evolve just from leveling up through experience or anything what you have to do is you have to go over here and inside of here the sweet retreat uh, we're gonna speed through this and go through this a little bit faster but you can see right here this chef guy he uh, sells some things to you there's a birthday candle item right there that you need to buy and it's 300 points so there's a bunch of different stations you take orders right there there's this second station right here which is the fill station and all of these stations basically you see the order coming at you and as the orders coming at you you have to fill it and do whatever your part is 
and everyone gets more points if you've got people working together so hopefully you can go to a server where other people are trying to get these points to get this stuff and you guys can all work together and you can sit at these stations and get these done so that first station is the filler the second station really easy it is the baking station you just hold on to this button a little bit try to make sure that you can keep the arrow right there in the green area and if you can keep it in there then you will just keep the cakes moving through and the cakes cakes just as long as you've got people in the areas in front of you those cakes will move through but they might just kind of stop if you don't have anybody at that station so this next station right here of course icing pretty simple pretty straightforward all these stations basically have three options that you can go for this one's got the green the the pink and and the chocolate and then this one right here we've got the chocolate we've got the strawberry and we've got the cherry and that's how you put the topping on again like the the order is going to come through uh once you finally do have 300 though go back to that guy that's selling these items right there and you can buy yourself this right here this little uh birthday candle so the birthday candle is basically what you're going to need Need to evolve that little oinker that you've got in there so uh, you're gonna want to come over here to your inventory of course and look at your little uh, pig guy and you want to give him the item that you just purchased Okay, so now that we've got him in our inventory, you gotta like move uh, him into your inventory in order to get that. So these mochi, some of these other ones, guys, these are gonna be rare, so it's an event. You might not be able to get these later on. So I think these are all event Lumians. They're here in Sweet Retreat, and I don't know how long Sweet Retreat is gonna be around. Uh, but anyways, you've got your cup oink right here. Uh, down there, you see where you've got that birthday candle. Now you wanna grab that birthday candle, of course, and you want to use it, and then you want to use it on on your cup oink and then you can see right here the cup oink will start evolving as soon as you give it to him uh, I didn't have to do any training with him I didn't have to grow his exp or anything in order to get him to level up or anything it just seems all you have to do is give this to him and then you are good to go uh, and again in that whole thing when you're getting the points for the cakes if you have people working together if you have completed cakes everybody gets a point for their station every cake that goes through but then they also get a bonus of five points once a cake is completed so uh, right here you can see it turns into a hoganosh I'm not sure uh, if that's like close to a name of a cake or whatever but it learns this fiery fondant uh, which is coat yourself with a layer of fondant recklessly hitting the opponent this will also boost your melee defense and damage yourself a little bit in the process but you know it's pretty strong it's got 90 strike usually the ones that damage yourself are worth 120 strike but this does may raise your defense a little bit so it looks like this one's probably gonna be a little bit of a melee hitter and a uh, a little bit of a tank as well so it should probably be able to take a hit so if you guys are new here I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys are notified about future videos and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later